Hi, I'm John Jones, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to turn this into this in one simple rig. Let's switch to the overhead cam and have a look at this rig in more detail. Now for this three-in-one rig, you need a pair of scissors, a splicing needle, a normal needle, and a stripper tool. So I'm going to be using the Signet semi-stiff coated hook link, again in £25. Cut at least 12 inches of the hook link off with a sharp pair of scissors. Now with the stripper tool, strip off at least four inches of the coating to reveal the braid underneath. Once you've revealed the braid underneath, you need to tie a, a little loop in the end. Now I use my baiting needle here just to tighten the knot. And of course I'll trim the tag end with a sharp pair of scissors. Once that's done, I'm now left with about three inches of exposed braid ready to tie the rig. Now pick a hook. I'm using the Signet Curve Shank Barbless Size 8. Mega sharp hooks, lads and lasses. These are very sharp indeed, so be careful. Now the D can be anything between three quarters of an inch to an inch long. So now with the rest of your hook link, I now whip a four turn knotless knot, and then the tag end goes through the top again and out of the bottom. You need a small kicker, so we're using a Signet hook rigger. Pass your swivel end of the hook link through the wide end of the rigger and slide it up to completely cover the knot that you've just tied. Now with a bait of your choice, hook up the bait through the loop and pull the bait through and secure in place with a small extender stop. Place it in the loop and then pull the bait tight. This now allows the bait to sit neatly on a hair but it's also attached to the shank of the hook. Now enables the bait to freely move up and down. Now at the swivel end I tie a figure of eight loop in the coated material using my baiting needle and then trim off again with your scissors. So we're almost complete. Now with an anti-tangle sleeve today I'm going to use a small one. Now through the wide end Put your gated needle through and then attach your loop. Pull this all the way through until the loop is exposed out of the other end of the anti-tangle sleeve. Now I like to use a quick chain swivel, a size 8, hook that up to the loop and then tease the anti-tangle sleeve over the swivel securing the hook link in place and that is for the wafter rig or a bottom bait there it is the completed wafter rig now you can do the same now with a pop-up i'm using a 12 mil pop-up 
and I need to put a counterbalance on, so I'm using a little hook link clinger, and there you go, I've converted it into a pop-up rig. So if you want to turn it into a snowman rig, just remove the loop from the hook, and you need to add a small piece of shrink tube. So here I'm using the one mil shrink tube from Signet. So cut a piece off to about four mil in size. Slide this onto the hook, then get a gated needle, slide the gated needle up underneath the shrink tube, hook up the hair and pull through. Now you need to get this set this in position and steam with a kettle. Now once that's in position, you can then slide on your chosen hook baits. Today I'm using a 15 mil bottom bait and a 12 mil pop-up to create a snowman rig. I'm securing these in place with a small extender stop. Now once that's in position, there you go. A snowman rig. So there you go, from the top you have a pop-up rig, a snowman rig, and a wafter rig. There you go folks, that is my very rig. So whenever you need to use a pop-up, a wafter, or even convert it into a snowman rig, this is the one you need to try. So I'll see you next time, and don't forget to hit the like, notifications, subscribe to the channel, and before you go, just remember, it's up to you to ensure your rigs are safe. I'll see you next time.